Maddie. So for today's video, I figured I would walk you through this makeup look. This is what I was wearing in my previous video, and you guys seemed to really enjoy it. So I figured I would walk you through everything and talk you guys through it. I'm going to try to make this as relaxing and soothing as possible because I really enjoy these types of videos. Like right before I go to bed or when I'm getting ready or doing homework. Um, I just think they're really nice to listen to. So hopefully I can do that for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy this nude slash minimal makeup look. So before I begin applying my makeup, I start off with a moisturizer. The one that I have been using is the Purely Nourishing Cream Moisturizer by Bare Minerals. And the reason why I use this is because it's a little bit thicker. So it's really good for this time of the year when my skin is feeling especially dry. So I just blend that out and then I'll give it a couple of minutes to set in and then I'll start applying my foundation. Oh, and I almost forgot, I always moisturize my lips. So I'm using the Fresh Sugar Lip Balm. And this stuff makes your lips feel so smooth and it has SPF 15 in it. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. The one that I'm using is the Clinique Even Better Makeup with SPF 15. And I decided to go for this one because it has a little bit of a heavier coverage. It still gives my skin a nice natural glow, but nothing too dewy. I'm blending this in with the Bare Minerals Smoothing Face Brush. And I really like this brush. It's just a dual fiber brush that's similar to a stippling brush, but a little bit more dense. So this is all blended out, and I'm going to move on to the blush. So the blush that I'm going to use is Benefit's Rockateur. This is a really pretty neutral shade. It's more on the rosy side, but it has just a hint of gold in it, so it gives you that really nice glow. And I'm just going to pop this on my cheeks, and then put a tad bit on my nose. Okay, so that's done. So I am going to do my eyeshadow first. So all I'm doing right now is taking my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and this is just an eyeshadow primer and I'm just going to place this all over my lid. I'm just going to be using the Naked Basics palette and this is the first one, not the second one. Um, all I'm doing is taking Naked 2 on a fluffy brush. This one is by Real Techniques as well. And I'm just going to concentrate this in the crease. So now that we have some color on our eyes, I'm going to go ahead and deepen that color with Faint, which is a darker brown color. I'm just doing this on the same brush, and I'm going to pack it on the outer corners, and then just brush it upwards into the crease. Alright, so now that we've finished our shadow, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. And this is probably... One of my favorite parts about doing my makeup, not curling my lashes, that, that part's not so much fun, but applying mascara. So I'm going to be using the Clinique Lash Power Mascara. It's a really natural looking mascara, but it doesn't smudge throughout the day and taking it off is so easy because it sort of just flakes off. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to the bottom lashes as well. All right, so now we're gonna move on to eyebrows and I don't do anything crazy. I have dark hair already, so there's not much that needs to be done. I just enjoy filling them in a little bit um, just to give them some more definition. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown along with the Anastasia Jewel ended brush. So I'm just going to tap it in very lightly and then start from the front and then just kind of work my way back. And I use a very light hand with this. Okay, 
And the other end of this brush comes in so handy because it has a spoolie. So as I'm filling in, I'll go ahead and brush them up and out. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and highlight really quick because I forgot to do that earlier. So I am using the Balm's Mary Luminizer and this is a gorgeous highlighter. Unfortunately, I've dropped it so many times that it's cracked, but that's okay. So I'm just using a foundation brush from CVS and I'm just gently tapping into my highlighter and then highlighting right underneath my eyes and upwards. We'll do a little bit on the bridge of my nose and then a tad bit above my cupid's bow and then just a little bit underneath my brows, right on the brow bone. All right, and the last part of this nude minimal makeup look is the lips. So what I've been using is the NYX Lip Liner in Sand Beige. And this is a brown shade. It's like a rosy brown, but more on the brown side. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and line my lips. Alright, so now that my lips are lined, I'm going to go ahead and use Lime Crimes Velveteen in Cashmere. So there's been a lot of controversy around Lime Crime recently, um, which I don't want to get into, <laughs> but this is the lip color that I wore in my last video that you guys liked so much, so I figured I would just stick with it. And this is described as a gray beige. So I'm just going to go over my lips and the lip liner in one coat because I feel that layering tends to really accentuate my dry lips which I do not want so that is what cashmere looks like over a brown lip liner alright so this is the finished makeup look I hope you guys enjoyed it I was trying to make this as relaxing and soothing as possible to watch because I love watching these videos like before I go to bed or when I'm getting ready in the morning. They're just so relaxing to listen to. So if you guys enjoyed me talking to you guys through my makeup look, I would love to do another one um, because I, like I said, I really enjoy watching these as well. So yeah, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!